I do not know why I'm getting into this review right now, but... D4 fucking L. Terrible album. Terrible album. I don't know why. I got... We just... Fucking 2005 was like... That's that year of... The... The snap. The snaps. It's just, it's just snaps. Fucking shuffle and snap. Shuffle and snap from side to side. I bet you can't do it like me. Nope. I bet you can't do it like me. Nope. I bet you can't do it like me. Nope. That fucking era was terrible. <gasps> Damn it. Looking back at that era, but holy shit. I don't know why I have this. I think I bought this. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I bought this at retail or something. I don't know. But either retail or fucking. Damn, I don't know why I bought this album, but it was a waste. Because I don't fucking listen to the shit no more. Especially Laffy Taffy, that stupid Laffy Taffy song. But in that time, 2005 was the time of, you know, the snaps. The snap, just, 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 the, just the shake, shake, shake of the shoulders and the snap. And just look up. Snap. 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 I don't know if. I don't want that ever to come back ever again. As, unless it's some good shit music. Good fucking music, I guess. I don't know. I don't think you could make a good music with just like the more around snap. And uh, they had the chicken noodle soup song, and then they got fucking them franchise boys, which I'm gonna get into because I bought that album too. Uh, um, so yeah, let me get straight into it. D4L down for life. Uh, that's actually the D4L's down for life. Okay. I don't know what they're getting down for, but whatever. Uh, you got executive producer D Money and Shawty Low, the two from the the crew. You got you got you got four guys there. You got yeah, Shorty Low is one of them. Shorty Low and D Money is one. It's two, two of the guys that are in the group. Um, yeah, just the time of the, the snap era. Nothing much to this booklet. You just got like a fold here with the with the track listings inside, and you have on the other side you have uh, all the thank yous from everybody in the crew. Every single thank you over here. Uh, you got Shorty Low, Fabo, Stony, Mook B, and uh, Johnny. Have Bell. Anyways, uh, D Money is just a producer probably for for this song. So, um, don't really get want to get much into it. it. But yeah, this is during the snap era of music that everybody was hyped about, and you know, it's done. It's gone, long gone now. I don't I don't think anybody really remembers it. But yeah, I don't know. I just still have it just because I bought it. I guess it just it's just gonna be in my collection. It's just gonna be sitting there. I get questions like, "Why did you get this?" and stuff like that, or whatever. But you know, from my friends, my friends tell me like, "Why did you even bother buying this?" It's like for like one song or whatever, one or two songs. But yeah, um, looking at the track listing, I remember back in the day, I I always the only song I ever listened to a lot, many times, many times, many times. Was the song, uh, uh, what the hell's not here? Well, oh yeah, I'm the man. Just because at the end of the song, they have a, they have a really long type of, um, they, they leave the instrumental going on for like a good, like, 40, 50 minutes, 50 seconds. So I'm like, I fucking like it, just the, the beat is like really, it's, it's not, there's nothing to the beat at all, it's just the, the bass bumps a lot, so and then it's like a nice cool trap feel to it. So I mean I like it. I like that part, like the beat, the but lyrically like the songs are crap lyrically. Um, and then just it's just all the beats that really get me get me. And then Laffy Taffy and but you can't do it like me. I mean they're ter really terrible songs, but you know at that time it was like it was catchy for me. I liked it just because it was kind of catchy at that time. Um, the song, uh, Stuntman, I think I like that song a lot. Oh yeah, another, fr uh, I, another friend, uh, I had, I mean, he freaking loved this album too, and me, me and my other friend in middle school used to bump this a lot too. Uh, Stuntman is actually his favorite song on this album. Uh, and other than that, not really anything. Front Street had a pretty cool beat, uh, and all of the, everything in, the end just sucked. Digging, digging me was such a really terrible song. Get real low, ugh. make it rain, shitting me. <sighs> Jesus. And then game, game on me. Do it like me is alright too, but yeah. 
I got I got over this. It's like I don't know what happened to them, but I think they're doing their own thing. Either they're doing their own thing, or it's just like they're not a group anymore. But yeah, this review's gone on too long. I just wanted to share my experiences with this album in particular, and just to show you that you know I have this in my collection for some reason. But yeah, uh, other than that, that's pretty much it for this overview. Uh, stay tuned for uh, the next one. This is Asian Broski saying peace. Default will.